What's going on, everybody? This is Adrian Marcel. You're tuned in with the Houston Hip Hop Fix, man. Tune in. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of rich history here, man. You know, I love it because it's a lot like my city. You know, like companies over. So just every time I'm here, it's it's so much like love. It's like everybody's connected. Like it's not a whole bunch of just separate cliques. And if it is, maybe I just don't see it. <laughs> but you know, um, just the love and support that other artists give each other. Like I love that because that's how the town is. That's how he's open is. You know. It's, as long as you do what you do and you're good at it and you you really about it, then you know it's it's seen and it's supported. So I love that about the city. Oh man, Oakland is is the only place I could ever wish to to be from. I love my city to death. You know, shout out to the whole Bay. It's again just the culture and the richness that's there, the history. You know, we we come all the way from the Black Panther movement and all of that. You know, so it just lets you know how much. How much soul and power you know is in my city, you know. But just to how competitive it is at the same time. There's a lot of dope artists, a lot of talented people that's out there, and there's so many avenues to be heard. And there's always these, there's always different stages you could be on. There's always different open mics you could be on, you know. And I think that's what gave me the confidence that I have now. If anything else, being from my city, you have to be confident. You cannot get on stage acting like you're timid and you don't know what's going, what you're finna do. Do not do it, you automatically get moved, get off stage, get out of here, don't ever touch the stage again. You know, it's it's for the real and it's for the strong. So it definitely gave me, it, it gave me that confidence to go out to the world. The music, the music. <laughs> you know, I don't really like nothing about the music industry, but the music, <laughs> you know. Um, I figure if I just keep it there, if I just keep it simple and just stay in love with the music, then, I can continue doing what I'm doing. I think the minute that I either fall in love with the game, or I fall in love with myself, or I fall in love with the Kool-Aid, then it all washes away and it all dwindles down. So the biggest personal change I made probably is just my free time. You know, I don't get to do what I don't get to do all the things that I like to do and I wanna do. You know, it's I may plan for it, you know, but it never happens. It's almost like that saying, you know, tell God your plan and he'll he'll laugh. You know, like that. It's it's like that. It's like I can say what I'm gonna do today, but by the end of the day, it's not gonna be nothing on what I plan. So it's uh, it's it definitely takes some getting used to with that. But at the same time, you know, as long as again you love it, you love doing, you know, I love doing music. So you know, as you get out ways, my music is like. Soulful, yeah, ratchet. Like I like to be ratchet. I'm from East Oakland. I like to be turned up and not reckless, <laughs> but just my level of reckless, recklessness, you know, which is not that far. It's just ratchet, you know. Turned up, having a good time, and that's that's really the basis of who I am, though, as a person as well. Like I'm, you know, I like to I like to be turned down and romantic and everything like that and that's why a lot of my music is about relationships and love and heartbreak and whatnot but at the same time you know every now and then there's those 2 a.m. lustful nights that you just be in ultra ratchet in the garage. <laughs> Hashtag GMFU got me effed up. It's coming out. I'm aiming for a February March release. Uh, I would I would hope for a Valentine's Day thing, you know, so all the dudes could go out, get the girl, get the girl, they, you know, they AM, CD, you know, put it on, you know, maybe populate the nation at night, I don't know, whatever, you know, you want to do, but it just feels right, and, you know, the, the album is just really the chapter of where I am now, what, of all the things that's been going on, seven days a week, which is on iTunes, was an introduction, kind of giving you a glimpse of exactly what I'm about, we got the next was more of where I was at at that time, like, you know, this year in 2015, on the come up is, is there's all these different things that I've been through in relationships still, and um, outside of that, in the industry, all that kind of stuff, like, and all these stories come together, and the best way I could describe it is, got me effed up. There's some different, huge local artists 
you know, that I kind of looked at, you know, one of my one of my friends went to school out here, and uh, Andre Blunt went to school out here, and, you know, he kept me up to date with everything that was going on like that, you know, so I'm not, I'm not somebody who, who veers away from working with anybody, you know, if they're dope, and they're, and I feel like they're, there's a passion that's there for what they do. I love to work with those type of artists. So whatever artists, whether it be local, whether it be you know people that are that are on, that are kind of hot, doesn't matter what it is. If there's a passion there, and I love to work with. Them. I gotta work out before I go on stage, like, you know. So hopefully I can get into the gym before. But if not, then I don't, you know, if you see, I got these little like bands and stuff in my bag. I gotta like these little workouts, something. Um, Mm, I gotta hear re more recently the um, that new song. I'm in love with the go go. I, I gotta listen to that part on stage. I don't know why. It just, it just gets me pumped up. I'm gonna make me go up there and turn up. Again, I'm ratchet, y'all. So thank y'all for rocking with me. You know, for those who are new to to the movement, for those who are kind of just now, you know, kind of dibbling, dabbling into it. Those who've been rocking with it, like I appreciate it. You know, I've been to the city. It's my third time being out here, and each time it's just it's just gotten better and better, and there's no other feeling like that. And to see the numbers grow, of people who are supporting it, who appreciate the music. So I see you guys' comments, I see you guys' you know, Instagram pics, all of that, and it never goes unnoticed, you know. And I appreciate it. And I thank y'all. Keep rocking, you know, Houston. We definitely gonna come back out here in time, all the way up. Like I said, it keeps getting better and better. So. Love y'all, appreciate y'all. I hope y'all come out tonight. Just have fun and turn up. You know?